So we spent our weekend looking at patient record matching best practices. So we came up with this scenario where we have a 58-year-old -old man who arrives at a &E after a fatal car crash. And um, the doctors need to give him medication to help with pain management. Unfortunately, um, the data was not linked from his GP records and he ends up having an anaphylactic shock um, because of his allergies to aspirin. Okay, so we know that basically linking data for the wrong patient is bad in terms of patient safety, in terms of uh, the privacy, very bad thing. And equally, it's a very bad thing for not linking data for the right patient. That's happened in this example. So, big challenge in the entire health and social care system, especially as we drive towards this interoperability and fire and interoperable, is how you go about solving this problem. Now, we all know that the NHS number is key. That's why the NHS number exists, to solve this problem. But all data points in the patient record could be wrong, even the NHS number. You cannot guarantee on its own that the NHS number is correct. It might be the right number, but for the wrong patient. Demographics can also change. People get married, people move house, are probably the two most common reasons for their demographic changing. So some of the, some of the solutions here include using available services, the Spine Demographics Reporting Service, gives you a good basis of the demographics for your particular service, like longitudinal health and care records. In addition to that, if you're getting data from other sources, like social care, they only adopted the NHS number in 2012, the complete list there is not full, you can use that to trace and verify, trace the missing numbers and to verify the existing <coughs> ones. It gives you a solid foundation, you get about 95% match rate, but we can do better. There's still that incremental improvements that need to be made. So you can do the deterministic matching, but that needs to be supplemented by what's called probabilistic matching to help drive up that near the nearest possible to 100%. We're also at the conclusion we think is for real-time direct care, use a verified NHS number. That's rec one recommendation. Research this weekend is also telling us this is a solved problem, but perhaps this isn't as widely communicated and as adopted as it could be. Yes, so exactly. Our findings from research showed that epidemiological studies have used probabilistic and deterministic um, algorithms to address this problem. Um, but our next Trust in 1999 talking about the drive to adopt the NHS number. Um, we're still not quite there. Not all this health, uh, all these uh, systems have got PDS tracing, which I think they all should have. I think that should be mandated. Uh, social care, again, this is 2012 since they first started adopting the NHS number. Not all social care systems have the PDS trace. Some of them do, some don't. <clears throat> um, I think it will be a continuous evolution and improvement in this space. But I think there's a long way that we could go to improve it and maybe some better sharing of that best practice knowledge and better adoption. Sorry, one more question. How many different kinds of uh, probabilistic or friendly matching algorithms are there? Just to find? Uh, there are a number, like, um, we have references. There was like one main one which is weighted matching, um, and then some other ones which use sound decks. Um, and in, use that in the probabilistic matching for when uh, strings were not the same or different data sets. So there are In addition to the sound index matching for strings, you can also use one of the own data birth, data birth and use part of the data birth as well. There's a big challenge in that uh, lots of patients being recorded this 1st of January in the year they're born because you don't, they don't know their actual date of birth um, or in, for expediency that's not recorded. So they just took it down as the 1st of January. So you need to apply some uh, sense 
exceptions for the 1st of January. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.